Hello, hello and welcome everybody. Um, welcome to the webinar of Introduction to Alpha AI and the User Dashboard from Accurata. Uh, we will be presenting our news license software and our new platform for leading and support in a few minutes. We're gonna wait a couple more to make sure that everybody can join us or has time to join us. Um, so yeah, just sit tight. In a few minutes, we will really start uh, the presentation and the new things that we want to present uh, to you guys today. So thank you for your patience. Okay, welcome. Welcome everybody. Thank you so much for making the time today to this webinar. Uh, we will be starting already um, five minutes from the time. Um, I am Xavier Samper, Channel Manager for APAC region, and I will be your host today. Joining me today is Alexis Michet. Uh, it's that he is the head of customer success who will be guiding you through the user dashboard and the best practices for Alpha AI. I want to emphasize the importance of the user dashboard uh, that he will be presenting today. It's a new tool that will allow you, you and your team to learn how to use the Accurator products, provide basic step-by-step -step troubleshooting guides, and get in contact with our amazing customer support. You will see during the presentation that we have built it with a very user-friendly approach in mind. So hopefully this will save you time and a lot of headaches in the future. And stay tuned until the end of the webinar as we will be announcing the winner of a one-year Alpha AI premium license valued at 220 US dollar. So stick around until the end. If you have any question, you can type it on the message box down below to your bottom right, and we will answer them at the very end of the, of the webinar in the Q&A um, section. So, what is Alpha AI? Alpha AI is the upgrade of our Alpha 3D slicing software in which we have added premium add-on features. It still works and looks like the Alpha AI that you know and love, but it's still now, it's much more powerful now by helping clinicians orient and add supports to bridges, crowns, guides, and splints in a matter of seconds. We will take a look of some videos later on so you can see how, how it really works. This software is powered by an artificial intelligence algorithm that we have developed over the year uh, at Accurata, which tries to optimize the print for accuracy and reliability, meaning that your team will need less training, will result in fewer failed prints and more time providing care to patients. So how does it work? And what are the new features? Here in this video, we're going to see how it's going to orient and generate supports automatically. In this video, we are adding right now a file, in this case, a splint. We press the button of splints and alpha AI on the bottom, uh, on the top right, and it generated, uh, oriented and generated the supports. We're going to watch it again um, so you can see it again. So we are adding the file, changing the resins, 
bottom top right, we press the button and automatically it generated and oriented. That means that uh, a job or uh, a task that took maybe a few minutes, maybe five minutes to do properly, and now it's in within seconds. So we can automate some of the process for clinicians and technicians to print much faster and provide the customer care that uh, that is what we are striving for. So the second um, feature that we have developed on that we have launched, it's an export to up to 50 STL files to use another 3D printers. So same idea, we update, uh, put the, the file, alpha AI, and now when we export, we can export it as an STL file. So you can use it with third-party printers. We believe that this is a very powerful tool and we want to democratize it and make it accessible for, for other parties, basically. Not only for consumers that they have or, or clinicians that they have our, our printers. And the last one is the grouping of applications. So in the video, you can see that we have we are adding the multiple files that this was already possible before. We are changing the resin. We select both files and we press the bridge button in this case. You can see that it has nested it properly, it has oriented and added the supports. So how can you download this slicing software? You need to go to our website and this is the, the first page that you see. On If you already downloaded the software, you can see in that button there in purple that you can start your 14 day free trial. If you want to download it, you need to scroll down this section, which allow, which shows until the, the area that shows the difference between the free and the premium version. You need to click on the download Alpha AI for free. This is the area that you will be looking at and fill out, you need to fill out a short form to make sure that you are a real person and you're in a real company and everything is legit and you will receive an email with a downloadable link. This is the same concept that we had before with Alpha 3D. Now to re reiterate, Alpha AI, it's a free slicing software, but it has premium features. So you still can use it without these premium features. Now, how to upgrade it? In this video, you're gonna see that it's very simple. You need to go to our website. Again, software Alpha AI, scroll down in the same areas before where you can download it. On the right side, you see upgrade to Alpha AI premium version. You need to select between monthly plan or yearly plan, you add it to the cart, check out, add your credit card uh, details, do the payment, and soon enough you will receive an email with the activation code, the access code. Now you go to Alpha AI, enter your email, the access code, you add the access code, and it will be automatically activated. Perfect. Um, so now I will let Alexi show you and present you the user dashboard. I believe that it's going to be really good for you and very useful in the future. So you you can troubleshoot yourself and you can do basic basic things yourself uh, before asking for requests and support, which might take some time. This can really speed up your process and help you with a lot of issues that you might have. Hello, everybody. So I will uh, share my screen up so that I can show you. Up. The user dashboard. So on the, so this uh, user dashboard is very really the place to go for any users. It's really the page dedicated for the users. So how to uh, go to this page first. Um, so either you go from the website and click on support and then use the dashboard. Or then if you uh, want to directly reach our, uh, this dashboard, you can just type dashboard.accurator.com. Then once you register and when you log in, uh, you, have, you can see three sections. So this dashboard in this, uh, uh, you have in these three sections, you can register your devices. You can uh, learn more about digital dentistry, about our products. You can also uh, try to troubleshoot any issue you can you might have by yourself. So I will show you these three sections uh, one by one. So first, as I mentioned, uh, you need first to register your product. So 
you're in the right section, my devices. So you just click on add a device. You see, for example, here I have a soul with a serial number. And for example, I purchase it from uh, the, our website, Akureta website. So I type all this information and then I just register. And you see here, I have this, uh, my printer available here. So I can see if it's still under warranty, I can see these basic information. Uh, just for you also to know how to find this uh, serial number, it's on, at the back of your other printer, there is a label with a CIS serial number. So you just have to read it and then type it here in this in the My Devices section. Then uh, once you register this, now you can have access to uh, more content. So I will show you later. For example, here, you can see in support, it's allow me to go to this section. If I want to have access to this section, I need to register also authentic. Now I will go to uh, the second section, so the learning center. So in this uh, uh, page, we want uh, you to access to a lot of content um, for digital dentistry or for like, to know better our products, Accurator products. So for now, there is two sections available, glossary and resources. So in the first one, the glossary, so it's basically if you want to learn more, like the, you're not familiar with the terms like what is a FMT, what is like here, I can give you like what is a CAD, CAD or CAM software. Like if you're not very familiar with all these terms uh, around uh, 3D printing, about digital dentistry, about accurate products, this is the place to go. We can give a lot of definitions and uh, you can learn uh, what are the, these um, uh, words. Then you, you have a small also a section here called the device, devices view. So in this section, you can see all our products here, so dentic, clinic, jury. And then you can see like, what are these different parts? For example, here is a build platform. It's okay, number three, it's located here. So what is it? And you have a description here and where it is located on the device. So you can see the same for all our devices. So, uh, so I, I will talk about the glossary. Now we go to resources. So in this resources, you can see is like, uh, all the content we already previously uh, created. So we try to gather all of them in this area. It's very easy, you see, to understand where what we have and where to go. See if you want to see some articles about the digital dentistry, about our products. If you want to review this webinar soon, you go to a webinar. If you want, like, you have all this content available uh, here, very easily to ac uh, accessible. Then the last part, so we saw like how to register, how to learn more about uh, digital dentistry and uh, Accurita products. Now this is the last section. For me, the most important one, uh, that's the part we dedicated, dedicated sorry, a lot of uh, time to build this because it really uh, help you, guide you to troubleshoot any issue by yourself. So you might have an issue uh, doing uh, like while printing. You don't know where does this come from. And of course you can contact your distributor or if you purchase directly on the website, us directly. And we, with a ticket and we can uh, try to solve your issue. But you know, there is some communication, so it might take some time. Uh, of course, if you, you can do all these steps by yourself, like to be faster. So we try to collect like all this process to make it like this um, process very easy. So for example, I have an issue with Sol, so I click on my printer, you see this is a Sol section. Then I go to a section, so this is all the different category you can have. So let's say you have an issue, like you have a model is not printing like perfect, like it's not adhering perfectly to the big platform. It's a, so it's a printing issue, right? It's not a printer issue, it's not a resin issue, it's really, a, so problem with my printing. So I click on printing and I apply. Then you see, so this is what we identified as all the printing issues you can have. So you can see like uh, what is like some holes in your print, for example. Here you are, you can see different ones. Some, uh, I don't know, a partial impression. So all this is some issue you might have. And what I said before, is like a partially, uh, like it doesn't adhere perfectly, or you can also not adhere at all. So this is the way where, where you have to go. You see the description, the print is partially or totally detached from the big platform. And you can see some uh, pictures here to guide you. So yeah, this is perfectly what I have. So this is the way to go. This is my issue. I click here, then it's really like a process with three steps. 
uh, we like this is how we try to help customer in in general. So first is we want to check like any basic things. It seems maybe like very obvious, but make sure you close your door, your your the hood, sorry, while printing. The temperature was correct between 18 to 25 degrees. The also like you you stir your resin before printing, like all these basic thing, steps. Even us sometimes we forget it. So it's very important to make sure like that's a checklist. Make sure you have all of this is uh, was done. If not, you have to try again by uh, make it right and try again. So it might be solve your issue. If it solve your issue, you can click on here. If no, if you are sure you did all of this correctly, then you can go to the next step. So this is some test now. It's not a checklist, it's more like some test. So there is some easy tests we call intermediate tests and then more advanced. So we prefer you start with uh, the first, like the easy test. So I will just show you like basic one, like for example, this one, like maybe like why it's not adhering perfectly to the B platform, maybe because you uh, have a thick base. So you can check like the diagnostic, do I have a big, uh, a big uh, and thick uh, base? Uh, yes, no. And after we have a solution if you have, so we ch show you how to reduce it and what is recommended so 0 0.2 for example uh, why this could be an issue by the way just like if you have a big surface and a, a thick surface in you have more uh, shrinkage force so it will also reduce my adherence to the big platform you can so it doesn't matter my issue okay so you see this is check you can do all the tests one by one uh, if still didn't uh, all these tests didn't solve your issue you will still have like the advanced test so uh for example it might be also like the the axis is not calibrated like we calibrate all of them uh in house before sending uh, any printers but because of the shock or whatever maybe the z-axis is not perfect like is not good anymore so uh if that might if that happen unfortunately we show you how to diagnose this and also like we have a video to show you how to recalibrate it. So you see you have, we really guide you step by step, like first easy, then uh, like very checklist then easy test and more advanced test. And then like really, if you still cannot solve your issue, you try everything by yourself, but still you cannot do it. So it doesn't work. And then oh, it's uh, direct you directly to our uh, ticket page. So, this also, I want to spend some time on this uh, page because it's uh, very important how you communicate the information to us. So it, you try a, a, all the tests, it didn't work. So now you want a, um, a creator to help you or your distributor to help you. So you need to uh, tell us the maximum of information. We are not next to you, so it's a remote diagnostic and uh, we need to have a maximum of information to understand, to be able to, uh, to help you. If you just tell us like it doesn't print properly, uh, it's not enough. I need to, to know more. So first, you can uh, tell us what device you use, uh, what kind of issue you have, like really like write, describe it, uh, this issue, like as detailed as you can, the more detail, the better. Then you can tell us which reason you had issue with. For example, in my picture, it was core element, so core model. Uh, then your serial number, you remember it's at the back of the printer, you have a label, you can just Tell us what is the serial number of the printer. Then, very important, this also section uh, send us videos, pictures, show you, like, show us like what you already did, what is exactly the issue, uh, and also the files, like what was uh, the STL file you use, and what uh, is the IBF file and I3D uh, P file you you have for this case. Once we have all of this, we can contact you and we can, it will be like, we have all the data here. It will be very uh, easy for us to help you. It will be faster. Also. Um, so now I explain you what feature we have uh, right now. I will just quickly, there is a lot coming soon. So I will just show you some uh, feature uh, we will have. Um, not all, but some. So uh, for example, for my first section, Right now, uh, I can add a device uh, like Soldentic, but in future, we also have the Clini and the Curie. I think it will be next month. Um, also, another thing you will have, like, I don't know exactly when, but very soon, is you will be able to monitor uh, your printer. So let's say I have two or three printers here, 
And there are, uh, I'm not in the same local network, but I still want to manage them remotely. Now it's possible. Like I, I, I don't think it's really recommended, but I can even do it from Taiwan to, I don't know, to Europe. Um, so through the user dashboard, I can do that. So I register, I will be able to do that, sorry. Um, so I will have like this device, for example, and then once there is a file in the queue, I can start it remotely. I can stop it remotely. And uh, also I can monitor, like if let's say I have three printer and I see oh, this one is finished, this one there is 50% done. So it will be really the place to monitor, not only to register your devices, but also to monitor them. Uh, on the second uh, section we have, uh, you see here is uh, in steel in gray, this academy section. So it's very, that will be very important. Uh, it will, uh, we really guide you step by step to make sure you uh, learn a lot uh, about uh, 3D printing, about our printers. So for example, we sh uh, guide you how to get started with um, with our uh, soul, with uh, or any uh, devices we have, how to uh, know, uh, like how to do a workflow, for example, like Splint from scan to, from the scanning uh, step to until, uh, like, of course, printing and uh, polishing. So we really get you doing all these things with a special like uh, connected like uh, learning uh, application. So um, it will uh, some, the content you have like some slides, some slides. You have some videos. You will have a question quiz. Really like it's really like a class for you online to uh, make sure you uh, have all this knowledge with you. You can have uh, you can have access to all this knowledge in this area. This. To have access to this, you will need to register your device also. So again, it's really important, register your devices and then you have access to all this content soon. Uh, I think I'm done with the user dashboard. Uh, I will now talk about, uh, come back to the Alpha AI and uh, just, I will, uh, uh, enjoy this moment to uh, also share some practices, uh, the, what we call the best practices, to um, improve, to uh, make your uh, printing life better. So uh, first, uh, the, the two first points is about like the very, very beginning when you arrive on the Alpha 3D, uh, you have to choose like what printer uh, you will use. Uh, for example, here, Sol, then what resin manufacturers, and then what resin you want to use. So this seems very basic, but imagine I want to uh, print with Kuro model. So I have Kuro model in my VAT, but I choose Kuro guide. Of course, I will use Kuro guide setting to print Kuro model, so it will not work. It will, you have a print failure. And that's our top number, like num the number one uh, root cause for uh, print failure. So it's very important. It's very basic, but you can easily forget. Like we just I wanted to remind this. Import, it's very important to choose the right printer and uh, resin. Then the second thing you see on the on the left, uh, there is also the layer thickness. I just would like to remind also what is a layer thickness. So a layer thickness is like how thick any layer will be. So it's also we call this also the Z resolution. Um, so this uh, will not change your accuracy. It's very different from accuracy. Uh, layer thickness and accuracy is different. If you have a fine layer thickness or thin layer, uh, it will you will have like a longer print because you have more uh, layer to print. But uh, you will have like because uh, every layer will be uh, thinner, you will see less the 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 different layers on the print. So the surface will be smoother. So your surface quality will be better. So, and if you choose to have a fast print, you have, so thicker uh, layer signal means less layers. It means also uh, faster print, but it means also you will see really like, it will be more obvious to see any layers. So you are, um, it will be more rough, this, uh, the surface. So it's really a choice between like how smooth you want your print to be and how fast you want to, your print to be. Uh, you also could see on the video, there is a turbo mode. Uh, this turbo mode is only for Kuro resins, and it's like basically like the fastest mode, so the thick layer thickness, and also all the printing parameters, the waiting time, the curing time. We all of this we make it like very aggressive, 
to uh, very focus on the printing uh, speed, not about the um, successful rate. So it's a risky mode, but it's really if you want to uh, achieve like the best performance with our printer uh, on the speed side, you can you can do that. Uh, now about the second point, so it's about uh, supports. Um, so if I uh, want to, um, so if I I, I need to uh, generate some uh, supports, so we have an auto support uh, function you already know. Uh, we changed something recently. Uh, before it was you have to choose your application, and then you can ger generate your supports. Now you see here, I just choose my resin and I call, like, because I changed my resin, I also changed the uh, support settings. So you don't need to, before you have to choose the application and then click on auto support. Now you don't need to do this anymore. Just, just, just choose at the beginning the resin and then automatically you will have the right support. Why we did this? Because we, uh, when we validate resin with the resin manufacturers, we could uh, notice that uh, for different resin, we need more like specific specific uh, uh, supports. We need to fine tune these uh, settings. So for now, for any resin, you have a specific support. So it's really to improve your uh, print uh, quality and your print uh, your successful rate with this. Uh, the fourth point I wanted to mention is about um, cast. Uh, so uh, cast resin is like it's famous to have a more shrinkage force. So you remember before as I mentioned, if I have a big surface and a flat surface, I will have a lot of force, uh, shrinkage force, and I might have some uh, some like I will try to reduce my adherence. So you see here, I have a big like all my corners are together, so I have a big surface also flat surface, and with cast especially, we have like a big shrinkage force. So it will. I might have some issue, it will uh, fold and uh, uh, not adhere perfectly to my B platform. So how to avoid it? It's uh, just, I, as you could see on the video, I just go to the, on, on the slice uh, section here, you here, you can see there is uh, spacing, you can change the spacing and then click on nesting. And then it will automatically uh, nest all these corns with the, uh, the spacing you, you uh, just uh, chose before. Now I will uh, talk about the last uh, uh, thing I wanted to tell you. So it's um, not about Alpha AI, but it's mostly about the, like, the connection between Alpha AI and printer. So um, I had to change my printer name. Uh, so you go to here, you see to settings, system, and then printer name, and you can change it. I think very few cost customer uh, change this uh, printer name and it might seem like not uh, very useful, but it is. If uh, so, if you're on Alpha AI, you have also a feature called Search Printer, and when you click on Search Printer, it will scan all your local network to check how many uh, printers are connected to this network. So, for example, I'm here. I have like let's say ten printers, and I scan it. But what I will see, if I didn't add any name, what I will see is only IP address. I cannot remember all this IP address. So uh, to make first to make your workflow smoother, if I have like cell number one, cell number two, cell number three, I will remember what which one it is. So it will I don't need to go there to check what is the IP address. So it will um, make your life easier. Second thing is also uh, I could uh, have any some problem with also uh, the can damage your printer. So if uh, for example I want to print with cell number one. But I don't remember, and I choose the wrong the wrong uh, printer, and I start printing with the stone number two. But there is some print already on the build platform of the stone number two. It will damage your printer. So it's very important. Like it's very simple to do that. You see, just settings, uh, system, and printer name. Then you, it will be uh, easier to see which printer you have in your uh, network. I think I'm done with uh, these best practices. Okay, wonderful. Thank you so much, Alexi. Um, so now I would like to show you um, a new webinar that we have prepared. Uh, it's going to be really soon on March 31st.
at 2 p.m. India, 4.30 p.m. Singapore, and 7.30 Sydney by Dr. Aruna Chalam. He is going to explain about the digital implant planning for guided surgery from single tooth to full arch uh, class. So we believe it's very useful with a lot of value. Um, we're going to be sharing it with all our partners and all our contacts to make sure that we have a good attendance because we believe that it's, it's really important and this is where the, the sector and 3D printing is going. Um, so you can find the registration link at the chat box below, as always. And now we're going to announce the winner of the one year free uh, trial of Alpha AI. And the winner is, uh, this is a person, uh, the name is Nguyen. Uh, so congratulations to you. We will be sending you an email um, with all the details that you need to know. And if you, if anybody has any question, now it's the moment to do so. Um, the Q and A is starting, so please feel free to write your questions in the chat box down below, and we will answer them here with Alexis. I'm sure that he will be able to answer most of your technical technical questions um, right now. And thank you so much for attending. Um, we we know that everybody's time is very useful and very sensitive, so that's why we are trying to make this type of webinar very short and very concise. So we do have one question by Irfan. Uh, says, will we be able to auto set supports as well as set multiple multiple objects? And I think this will be a question for Alexi. Um, so yeah, of course, uh, in the first uh, video uh, we show on Alpha AI, we saw we can select uh, multiple uh, objects and then uh, click on Alpha AI, it will automatically uh, orientate and generate the support. You can do the same also with auto support uh, feature. So just select all this, uh, your application, let's say you have uh, 10 crowns and then click on auto support, it will automatically um, generate the support for all these 10 crowns. Okay, great. We have another question as well uh, from Irfan. He's asking, he will be able to set custom angle supports that we want to reuse, uh, like vertically setting splints. Um, this is a little bit more technical and I believe I can answer this. So basically what is happening is we're using um, a supervised training model for this algorithm. That means that we are having a file, we are setting it up for success, we have some KOLs and we have some experts in the subject matter that is setting. This is the best possible um, orientation and support setting. So we are training our algorithm based on that because our objective is not so much as the fastest possible print or um, different accuracies. No, we are setting for the best possible on everything. And that is why we are using experts on the matter to orient and add the supports. So adding a new let's say, way of adding these supports and to implement this algorithm would mean to redo everything again. But we, this is not where we are going. Um, our goal is to optimize everything as much as we can, but especially trying to, to succeed on the print rather than um, doing it in different ways so you can fit more, uh, more prints at the same time. Um, I hope that answers your question. And Alexei, I believe that he wants to add some more. Yeah, just wanted to, so yeah, that's true. We, all our, all this auto support is based on all this analysis, but still, if you want to um, uh, fine tune, so this is also for, we try to make it as simple as possible. So if we add all this feature, it will become a complicated uh, software, but for like, it seems you are advanced user, for example, you uh, still can click on the drop down list uh, below the auto supports. And then you can fine tune your auto support settings. You cannot save it, but you can fine tune it. And you can also uh, create your, ma your manually, like any supports, uh, like uh, one by one, manually. Well, wonderful. Thank you, Alexei. Um, so if there is any other question, please feel free to ask it. Uh, we're going to wait about a minute. And otherwise, we will we will end up uh, this webinar. Oh, 
Okay, I believe that that's it. So thank you so much, everybody, for attending and for your time. Uh, hope to see you soon in the, in the webinar uh, that it's going to be shown by Dr. Ar Aruna Chalam on March 31st. We'll be sending the invitations really soon. And thank you so much for attending. Good to see you. Thank you.